Hello folks, welcome back to Law Creations. I uh, just wanted to show you my newest custom I just I just completed today. It's a uh, flint action figure. It's uh, I don't have a G.I. Joe flint, so I decided to make my own. The majority of the body is a Marauder's body. I came across the Sideshow collectible flint figure. It's a 12-inch figure, but I really liked that figure, and what I really liked about it was the color scheme. And I kind of copied that color scheme for this particular figure. So I made my own 4-inch. My own 4-inch style of that figure. The, the forearms are a uh, falcon. They came off a falcon figure. The 50th anniversary. The forearms and the gloves. And that's what I like with Marauders and G.I. Joe. Everything's pretty interchangeable. Uh, I know the forearms uh, pop right in very nicely. And the head, the heads pop onto the pegs of Marauders very nicely. Usually the only modifying you have to do is when you co uh, connect the legs. You kind of have to do a little Dremel work to, to get them to fit. But it is possible. But yeah, this is my newest custom. The color scheme is based on the Sideshow collectible flint figure. Uh, so I went with a green, dark green pants. And I gave it the black camo kind of look. The chest and the upper uh, upper arms are Marauders. Face sculpt is Marauders. The harness is off of Falcon, 50th anniversary. The hat is off of Falcon. I painted that. The original hat was green. I gave it a uh, black paint job. With gave the red emblem. I think it came out pretty good. So let's take a closer look. Everything kind of got a, a weathered leather type of uh, look to it, like the Sideshow does. And I took my time with this particular figure. I really wanted to concentrate on kind of capturing all the details, painting the details. I wanted wanted it to look as realistic as, as I could get it to look uh, with the paint. Uh, my goal for my customs is to try to capture the realism of a figure. Uh, yeah, so that's what I, that was my aim with this particular figure. So, like I say, the backpack came off a of Falcon. It was just black. Everything was black. So I just, I took my time in painting it, tried to capture the leather look. I painted the canteens, the rope in the back. It's got a place for a machete, kind of style knife. So I left that there. That looks really nice. The backpack does open. I don't have anything in it at the time. But it does open. And uh, yeah, so this is uh, this is my Flint figure. Everything pretty much got custom painted. And uh, like I say, I took my time with it. Uh, I gave him a holster on his leg. A knife on his uh, side of his thigh. Some pouches. Some grenades. And just uh, gave him some shotgun shells on his harness. I really... Uh, I really decked them out in some uh, some cool accessories. And I hope you guys like it. He's got the regular uh, articulation of uh, of Marauders, G.I. Joe. Very articulated. You can get him in any, probably in any pose you really wanted. And I just not set up to, my, my video section is not set up to really pose him and go crazy. And maybe one day I'll get some video editing software and, and take pictures of different poses that he can be in. Just so you guys can appreciate the articulation. But right now it's just showing the uh, the paintwork and the uh, style of this particular custom. So this is uh, probably one of my favorite customs to date. Only because I, I really took my time with it to try to capture the realism of it. And uh, I hope you guys appreciate it. Uh, yeah, please like, subscribe, comment, uh, share with me anything, uh, any thoughts, uh, what you like about the figure, what you don't like. And I appreciate uh, everybody taking the time to check, uh, check my videos out. So you guys have a good night and uh, take care and I'll see you on the next video.